Hello and welcome to RF Pro Tutorials. This is a five minute tutorial series in which we will go through all the aspects of RF Pro. This is first tutorial of the series. In this tutorial, we will go through getting started with RF Pro interface so that you understand the environment better and will be able to do the desired action pretty easily. Now, before we start, remember one, two, three, subscribe to the channel, enable the notifications, and like and share the video for your friends and colleagues. All right, so let's go ahead and understand RF Pro environment. Now to start RF Pro, as you would expect, it's an environment for electromagnetic simulation. So it has to be run from the layout window of ADS. Now in ADS window, you can access RF Pro either from the toolbar as you're seeing here, and this toolbar can be enabled by right clicking on empty area and enabling the NHST toolbar options. Or you can access it by going to Tools, RF Pro, and then you can create a new setup for RF Pro. You can give the view any name you want and select the right substrate for your EM analysis. In my case, I only have one filter in my workspace, one substrate in my workspace, which I will pick. Now, once you click OK, uh, the entire design database along with the substrate and material information will be passed in RF Pro. And here is the RF Pro user interface. On the left hand side, you can see the design database where you have all the nets in your design, all the components in your design, and then also uh, the substrate conductors, dielectrics, and VI information. Also, all the pins which you might have placed in your layout for EM analysis also get transferred here. So you can see I have placed two pins, one at this end of the filter, another at that end of the filter. So entire database is available in RF Pro for you to set up the simulation. Also for the reference pin, that's where your crown uh, current will be or the reference location for any port you create. In this case, you can see uh, by default definition is a reference pin on cover. The reason it arrives here is because if I open the stack up definition, you can see in my stack up, I do have a cover plate at the bottom. And that is what this reference pin is mentioning about. So whenever you create a port, the negative pin will go into that cover plate as in a regular momentum or FEM simulation, which you might have run in ADS. Now under analysis in the setup, you do have two type of analysis in RF Pro, the full EM analysis. That means whatever you are seeing in this GUI, the complete layout has to be EM simulated. And then you can choose the simulated type um, between momentum or FEM. Also RF Pro provides a very nice capability to perform a user defined EM. Whereas you can select the specific you know, nets of your complete design and then set up either a momentum or an FEM simulation. So we will go through all these options in great detail as we go through in this tutorial series. Now, apart from these two windows, if you look at the bottom, you have the visibility where you can turn the conductors to wireframe or hide the conductor, or turn them into solid. Similarly, for dielectrics, you can turn the solid view so that you can see dielectric along with your geometry or see the dielectric in wireframe or even hide that dielectric. So it's totally up to designers. Now, below that, you have different net types, and we will again go and talk about in little more detail what are these different net types, what is the significance of each of these nets, and how can you utilize that for your simulation. But for now, Whatever options are checked accordingly, uh, the nets will be highlighted once you pick those things in the in the net section, which is available here. All right, you can see when I pick a net and you can see the particular things is getting highlighted. And also you can see different kind of colors, um, which is available at different nets. Now, the other part of the GUI on the right hand side, uh, as you would expect, these are self explanatory. You have zoom options, you have view all option. For example, you can click this button and see everything in the entirety. Also, you have various 2D views uh, by which you can see the geometry from different angles. You have different 3D views and you can select any of the 3D views for 
separate option. Also, there is a measurement option whereby you could do a quick measurement on your structure as you are looking at, uh, depending upon you know how much in, you know important is that information. And after you have performed any action, you could always click on this arrow to end that particular command and now you are in selection mode. Similarly, there are other useful buttons which we will talk about as we go along in this tutorial series. And finally, you have four different options here. For example, geometry, simulation, parameters, and scripting. So if you accidentally close the geometry window, don't worry, you can always click on the geometry to see the window again. And if you want to see simulation summary or the number of simulation which you have run, you can click on simulation icon and all the simulation which you have run will be available. And once you click on any simulation category, you will see the log file and the summary for that respective simulation. All right, so there are a lot of things we talked about in this tutorial series. However, for this tutorial, this was just getting started so that you understand the different options in the GUI. And now you can look at other tutorials in the series for gaining more knowledge in RF Pro and how to perform different kind of analysis. Thanks a lot for watching and hope to see you in the next video.